Indiana's tough new law is yet another victory for anti-abortion rights groups who have been quietly making major gains far from the corridors of Congress. Take Nebraska, which set a new precedent last October banning abortions after 20 weeks, earlier than any other state. Idaho, Oklahoma, and Kansas quickly followed suit. These bills establish that Kansas, in the heart of America, is a culture of life state, and we're not going back. Missouri's law, signed last August, requires doctors to warn women who want abortions that it might cause pain to the fetus. Arizona's Republican Governor Jan Brewer has signed 10 abortion bills, including one mandating that a woman seeking an abortion get an ultrasound first. Florida and Texas will soon have similar laws. Maybe a 22-year-old girl goes in there who's never seen one and says, wow, that's my baby. The movement picked up speed after the 2010 elections, when Republicans took control of five more governorships and 23 state legislative chambers. How much does it help you that you have all these new Republican-controlled legislatures across the country? Oh, I think this is, is a huge. I think this is a historic time. Legislators at the state level, and, and having been a state legislator, they have a, a much better opportunity to pass uh, policy initiatives. Hey, hey! Plan Parenthood is here today! Protests against all these laws have been sporadic and, for the most part, small. Were pro abortion rights groups mm -hmm. taken off guard in no. this state? No. We anticipated it, but the fact of the matter is we have to fight it on every front, and women's voices have to be heard. You've that been it's fighting, but you haven't been winning. Well, again, elections matter. Abortion opponents say their strategy is to chip away at access to abortions at the state level since they can't do it at the national level as long as Democrats control the White House and the Senate.